two, one. It is 0730. Emily Johnson is a 76 year old female from Pikeville, Kentucky. She is a grandmother of six and works part time at the local library. She has type one diabetes and an ear infection. Emily also needs a flu shot this season. On assessment, the nurse can pinch two inches. See the healthcare provider orders. Okay. The healthcare provider orders um, wants us to give a flu zone vaccine, um, Humulin N insulin, and ofloxacin eardrops. I'm gonna compare my physician order to my MAR. I have patient Emily Johnson, date of birth is 1216XXX, medical record number is 361. 806612. The patient has allergies to morphine and codeine. She is 76 years old. She is 60 inches tall and she weighs 68 kilograms. Okay, so we're going to be pulling from the Pixis the flu zone vaccine 0.5 ml intramuscular now and we're going to get that in the deltoid site okay here is my flu zone injection and it is unexpired expires 12 30 2050 it is flu zone 0 0.5 ml per dose okay next we're going to pull from the pixis is humulin n Okay, here we have Humulin N. It is uh, U100, it is unexpired, expires 12, 20, 2050. Okay, next we're gonna pull from the Pixis is the Ofloxacin eardrops. Okay, here we have the Ofloxacin, one drop per dose. It expires 1231.60, so it is unexpired. I'm gonna need a cotton swab. And that should be all from right here. Okay, now we're gonna go over to the quiet space and bring up all of our drugs from the Pixis. Here, I'm gonna do my two med checks and two mad math checks, and then I'm going to prepare my medications. Okay, so we'll start with the first med check. We're gonna start with the flu zone. Okay, we have patient Emily Johnson, 361. 806612 is the patient ID. Date of birth 1216XXXX. Allergies, morphine, and coding. And today's date is 322-2022. We have flu zone 0 0.5 <coughs> milliliters per dose. Um, intramuscularly now. It's 730 and it has not been given. Okay, and then we're gonna do med math for this. So X mLs equals 0 0.5 mL per one dose is equal to 0 0.5 mL per one dose. Okay, so we're going to administer 0 0.5 milliliters. Next, I'm going to do my Hamelin N we have patient Emily Johnson. Patient ID is 361-806612. Date of birth 1216-XXXX. Allergies include morphine and codeine. We have the Humulin N injection, U100. Date, uh, exp expiration date is 1220-2050. It's unexpired. It is 0730 and this medication has not been given. And we're gonna do a med math. So, X units, uh, 15 units is one 
dos is equal to thirteen units is one dose. So this medication looks good in the vial. Okay, next we're gonna move on to our second med check of the ofloxacin. We have patient Emily Johnson, patient ID 36180-6612, date of birth 1216XXXX. Allergies are morphine and codeine. <coughs> um, ofloxacin, ofloxacin, one drop per dose. We're gonna give two drops in the affected ear. Um, and it's 0730 and the patient has not received it. We're gonna check our med map. X drops is equal to uh, one drop per dose. Doctor wants two drops, so we're going to give two drops. Okay, and then we're gonna do our second med check, starting back again with the flu zone. Date of birth, or patient name Emily Johnson, patient ID 361-806612, date of birth 1216XXXX, allergies are morphine and codeine. We have flu zone, 0.5 ml per dose, Intramuscularly, it expires 12-30-2050, so it's unexpired. This vial's intact, dry. It's 0730 and it has not been given. And we'll do our second med check, med math check. XML equals 0.5 ml per dose, which is equal to 0.5 ml per dose. So we are going to give 0.5 ml. Emily Johnson, 36180-6612 is patient ID, date of birth, 1216XXXX, allergies, morphine, and codeine. We have Humulin N, Humulin N, um, it's U100, and it expires 1220-2050, it's 0730, and we have not given it. Second med math check, X equals units, we have 15 units, and one dose, which is equal to 15 units in one dose. So we will get 15 units. All right, and lastly, we have patient Emily Johnson, patient ID 36180-6612, date of birth is 1216-XXXX, allergies include morphine and codeine. We have ofloxacin, brand name floxacin. Uh, it is one drop per dose. It is unexpired, 1231-2060. It's 0730 and the medication has not been given. We're gonna double check our med math. X drops is equal to one drop per dose. Doctor has ordered two drops per dose. One times two equals two drops per dose. Okay. So we're all good there. Now we're gonna start preparing our medications. Um, so first I'm going to write out my labels for my tape so that they're ready to go. Okay, so the first one we're gonna prepare is the flu zone. So I'm gonna put patient's initials, EJ. The drug name, it is flu zone. We have 0 0.5 mLs that will be in the syringe. And my initials, the date, and the time, 0730. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the label for my second one since I'll have gloves on when I prepare them. And that will be Humulin N, 15 units for patient EJ. My initials, the date, and the time. We're gonna set this one apart so I do not label the wrong syringe. Okay, we have flu zone here. We're gonna start with that first. 
And this is intramuscular. So we are going to grab a 23 gauge needle. We're doing half an ml, so I'm gonna grab one ml syringe. Okay, these are unopened, intact, and unexpired. Unopened, intact, and unexpired. And also, I have referenced my drug book. Um, I have considered all the nursing indications, the side effects, um, any adverse reactions, and I have made sure that they are all compatible. Okay, they're compatible, and there is no contraindications that need to consider. Okay, so here's our blue zone, 0 0.5 ml dose. to remove the tip, so go on the edge, and I'm going to insert 0 0.5, or point, 0 0.5, yes, mLs of air into the flu zone syringe, and I'll draw out 0 0.5 mLs. Okay. Just to show, we have 0 0.5 mLs in the syringe. And we're going to go ahead and label it. Okay, that is finished. I'm going to bring my insulin label over. Here we have our Humulin N. Okay. With that, we're always going to use an insulin syringe. Okay. And it is unexpired, and this syringe is intact, unopened, dry, and unexpired. So now we're going to go ahead and prepare this. To carefully take the back to 15 units of air, which we are going to insert into our vial, and then draw back to 15 units. You can just visualize here, there is 15 units in the syringe. Yep. Okay. And you can confirm that? I can confirm that it's 15 milliliters. Perfect. We're putting our units. label, which is Humulin N15 units for patient Emily Johnson. Okay. This is ready. And then we have our ear drops. Good. Is it our two chips?
chest. Okay. And then I'm going to bring two squares of gauze with me for each of my injections. <coughs> and I have my cotton swab for any residual eardrops. All right. Now we're going to go to the patient's room. administer the medication. Come in. Hi, my name's Allison. I'm going to be your student nurse today. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. Um, so today, we're just going to be giving you a few medications. If you'll give me one moment, I need to find your wristband. Okay, I have found it. All right, will you go ahead and verify your full name and date of birth for me? Emily Johnson, 1216XXX. All right, perfect, and I'm just gonna double check your medical record number. We have 36180 Awesome. And do you have any allergies at all? I do have a couple. Okay. Are they morphine and codeine? Yes, that sounds right. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to double check that I have the right medication for you. First, we're going to start off with your flu zone, it's your flu shot which we're gonna give in your arm, in the deltoid site. So we have flu zone, 0 0.5 ml. It is unexpired. It is 7.30, it has not been given, and this is for patient Emily Johnson. Patient ID 36180-6612. Date of birth is 1216XXX, and your allergies do include morphine and coating. So that is correct. Now we're going to double check our um, Humulin N. We have patient Emily Johnson. Date of birth 1216XXXX. And medical record number 36180-6612. Allergies are morphine and codeine. It is the 22nd of <coughs> March and we have not given this at 730 yet. We have ofloxacin. It's one drop per dose. Doctor has ordered two, so we're gonna give two drops uh, for patient Emily Johnson, 36180-6612 is the patient ID, 36180-6612. Date of birth, 1216XXXX. Um, Allergies include morphine and coating. The ofloxacin is unexpired. It is 7.30, we have not given it, so we'll go ahead and give it. All right, are you experiencing any pain today? No, I'm all right. Okay, sounds good. We're gonna first start with that um, flu vaccine injection. Is that okay? That's fine. Sounds great. arm out from under the blanket okay and I will be right back I actually need to go get some alcohol swabs okay
here we're going to peel the Crayon processing. I'm going to turn your arm around so it's a little bit easier for me to peel. Okay, Crayon processing. We're going to go about two to three finger lengths down. This right here sounds good. We're going to scrub from the inner to the outer. Okay. We're going to let this dry. Grab my flu zone. And do Z track. Pull back the skin, the edge of our hand. We're going to go in at 90 degrees. Stabilize, inject, remove, Z cap, grab a gauze, and apply pressure. All right, how did that feel, Miss Johnson? Is that okay? Yeah, it was all right. Perfect. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and give your um, cumulin and your insulin. So I'm going to return your arm. I'm just going to expose your abdomen. That's where it's going to go. Get another alcohol pad. So for this injection, we're gonna go about two inches out from the umbilicus. I'm gonna choose at about nine o'clock. Alcohol from inner to outer. Let it dry. Remove this. This is insulin, so it's always gonna be giving it 90 degrees, I'm going to pinch up, insert it at 90 degrees, hold, push, pull back, safety, and gauze, just to apply a little bit of pressure. Okay, how did that feel, Ms. Johnson? That was good. Sounds good. Lastly, we're going to do your ear drops. Okay. And it says here that it's going into the affected ear. And trying to figure out which ear is effect infected. It was my left one. Your left? All right, we'll go ahead and do the left ear then. What I'm gonna need you to do is you're laying just fine. So I'm gonna have you turn your head slightly. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna lower you down just a little bit. Okay? Yeah, and I'm gonna assess the inside of your ear to make sure there, there are no obstructions, no occlusions, no sores, no redness, no swelling. And does your ear feel okay today, um, even though it is infected? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. The drops have been helping. Sounds good. And since you are over the age of three, we're going to pull up on the pinna and back. I will insert the first drop up and back. And apply the cotton. If you want to let that sit there and rest for a moment or two, I think we're going to wait one minute in between our drops. Okay, it's been a minute. I'm going to go ahead and insert our second drop here. We're going to pull your pinna up and back. And insert the drop into the ear and apply that cotton. And if you will just lay in that position for a few minutes and just let the ear drops do its work. All right. Was that okay? Yeah, that was great. Sounds good. I'll set you back up a little bit where you were. You can turn your head forward. 
Um, and that's all for our medicines today. I will be back to check on you soon. Is there anything I can do for you now, Ms. Johnson? No, thank you. Sounds good. I'll see you soon.